For those of you that received a kidney transplant, what did you learn since you got your kidney transplant? I'm very curious to know what everybody has been learning. What are your top three things that you've actually learned about since you received that? So in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing my top three things that I've learned since I had a kidney transplant. So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, What's up? Take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I post my next kidney video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. My number one thing is drinking water, but drinking enough water. They give us recommendations of what we should be drinking and I think we should follow it, guys. And the reason I'm saying that is because sometimes I may not drink enough and I could feel the difference in my body. We constantly wanna flush these new kidneys we're grateful for the kidneys that we have, but we want to keep it. And remember, we're taking toxic medications. And some of us are taking a lot more medication than the other person. So it's important that we you know, flush all of that out of our system. But at the end of the day, we don't wanna develop infections. I have had a few infections since I've had my kidney transplant. And what does that do? Land me in urgent care. And that's another bill you don't wanna have to deal with. So my biggest thing is just drink enough water, but also it helps with your creatine level as well too. Remember that time in that video that I showed you guys when I actually had to get a biopsy done? And I'm like, okay, maybe I wasn't drinking enough water. What's going on? But I just started to continue to drink and drink and drink. And the next time I went in, everything was okay, right? And anytime something happens, my doctor doesn't rush to make a decision right away. They actually just say, hey, go back, drink more water, and let's see. And anytime I drink more water, things improve miraculously, right? So I'm my biggest thing is to tell you guys to drink enough water, drink the recommended amount. I know life gets busy, we're working, you know, you have kids, you have a lot of things going on. Another tip that you can do is just put yourself on a timer or on a schedule. So my jug of water that I have is a big, big jug and it actually tells you at each level what time you should actually drink to get all of this water in. So that's my suggestion is maybe buying a bottle with the different times and you can actually like follow that and you will get all your water in in the right amount of time. But you know, drinking a lot of water sometimes make you run to the bathroom a lot. And I know it's discouraging because you know, some people are working, they're like, oh my God, I'm peeing 24 seven, but you need to, okay? I don't want you guys to get infections and I want your creatine level to stay at the best level possible for what your amount is. For me, my creatine level is usually at a 0.8 on average, so if I go up to a one, it's gonna be concerning to my doctors and that has happened to me a few times and right now I've been stable and I've been drinking my water. So the second thing is you're gonna still feel alone, right? And I know a lot of people have battled like saying, you know, it's a lonely disease. Some of you guys also follow me for lupus and kidney and you may have lost your kidneys due to lupus. I mean, it's so many multiple factors, but it's a very lonely disease. And I talk about that a lot because even though people say, hey, you know, what's going on? You know, you're, they don't understand what you're going through. But when you get a kidney transplant, the reason why I said you're still lonely is because people think you're healed, right? And you dress up and you look nice, you smell good, and they think you have, hey, she's fine. And they don't check on you as often. And they don't you know, call you, they don't text you, family, friends, whatever it may be, because, oh, she's healed or he's healed, so I don't need to check on them. I see them on Facebook, I see them online, and they're just living life and not knowing that you're still battling, right? Sometimes you have certain things that are going on with you. Just because you get a kidney transplant doesn't mean that all the problems go away and people don't realize that. And this is why my second thing is that you're still gonna feel alone throughout this process. And it's okay because you have communities like my channel, you have Facebook groups, you have all these communities, um, there's support groups that you could do one-on-one -on -one, um, that will support you if your family and friends don't support you. But I don't want you to think that because you get a kidney transplant that people are gonna give a damn because they're still not if they didn't give, if they didn't care much when you were on dialysis, 
they're really not gonna care that much when you get the transplant. For the first, you no, know, maybe month or two after that, that's about it. So I'm being very transparent with you just in case you experience that. If you've experienced that, that you know you notice that your friends and your family don't check up on you as often, let me know, comment below. I wanna know, like, I know a lot of people in my kidney group said it, but I wanna know from you guys on my YouTube channel how you feel about that. And the third thing I would say is that you may fall back into your old habits. So you were so hungo about getting this kidney transplant. You're ripping, you're running, you're doing things and you're like, oh no, I'm gonna take care of you know this kidney that you know someone gave me. But then as life continues, you start working, you start you know going back out into society, things happen, you forget that you got a kidney transplant and you fall back into those old habits. There's many a times before that when I first got my kidney transplant, I fell back into old habits, eating the old ways, um, you know, doing old things, and it's not good for you. And I just want to tell you to be cautious of that. You have to have willpower uh, when you get this kidney transplant. So now, like, I meal plan and meal prep and do things so I don't have to fall back into those bad habits of eating. So I'm now very, very conscious of what I'm putting in my mouth. You know, I'm not saying that you can't enjoy your foods and you can't enjoy certain things, but I want to let you know that you may fall back in some of those old habits, but it's up to you to make that decision not to. It's up to you to say, you know what? I've been through so much in the past. I don't want to go back to that. I know what it felt like to be on dialysis, to hook up to machines, to not go nowhere because you have treatments for, you know, for your for your body to feel a certain kind of way, for your mind to feel a certain kind of way. Like, you know what it felt like to be on dialysis. Don't go back there. Do everything possible to not put yourself in those situations. Eat good, work out. You know, just get yourself aligned. So those are my top three tips that I wanted to come on today and tell you. And I would love to hear your tips. You know, like, what did you experience in that? Like, do you feel what I'm saying is true? You know, do you, I just feel like drinking a lot of water is very beneficial. I want you to know that, you know, there are going to be some times that you may be alone. And the third thing is you might fall back into those bad habits. So just be very conscious, guys. I just wanted to come on here and do this quick video for you guys because I think it's very important to know like what to, ex to expect, you know, once you get that kidney transplant. Um, comment below, let me know some of your questions that you may be having, regardless if you're on dialysis or you recently had a kidney transplant or you just battle any kind of chronic illness, taking care of your health can be beneficial no matter what. So I wanna hear your story and your journey. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Share this video with someone that can benefit from this. And otherwise, I'll see you guys on my next video. See you guys next time.